how you can see the three layers of values. For our member of EnjoyingArt.com, I'm looking forward to seeing you in our fun and relaxing Friday painting together. If this is your first time to our channel, it's all about making art easy with relaxation. Push like, share, subscribe, and turn on notification. Your way of thinking, the painting process is most important. What you should look at at the beginning and what you should look at later. The paper is from Artisar Copress, 140 pound, 100% carton. The color I use, there are Windsor & Newton's professional Windsor Yellow, Windsor Red, and Windsor Blue Green Shade. This is calligraphy brush for the big relationship. Start the painting with the large brush. Where I'm going to put the focal point? I'm going to move it a little bit higher. This is the top of the mother, and this is, will be the bottom of the foot. I decided to move it a little bit more to the left because I want to give a little bit more space for the reflection of the sun. Proportionally, how tall is the boy? Now we're gonna start the painting. The first step is very crucial. You ignore everything else, just looking for how I'm going to leave the white. In this step, it's very important to get help with this one inch flat brush. Mix the yellow and the red. Now almost getting the color I needed. When you're close to the sun, the color look a little bit more yellow and lighter and get a little bit more and more away from the sun, get a little bit darker, a little bit more orange and red, right? Now I'm gonna put it right over here. I haven't used any blue color in this mixture. Now put it over here. Now take a look at the top of the water. Now be careful. And I'm gonna put it right here, right? That's good. And it looks like it needs to be even darker. Now I'm gonna start mixing a little bit more. Right, a little bit more like that. Now a little bit more pink, less less water. Here you go. Now you can see I actually painting over the figure or everything else. That's important to see things as group. That's a very big group. I need to do it faster. Okay, like that. Here you go. I'm gonna have. I can change the color. Uh, as I'm, I'm going. Sometimes you use the, just uh, a few here at the corner. Sometimes you use the half of the brush. Sometimes you use the whole brush, right? Like over here. Now here you go. It just use the corner. Tap on it. Don't be afraid of it. That will be fine. Like this. And we may go into use a little dry brush when I come back over here. Okay. Now I'm going to take a look at all your full attention is just paying to how you're going to leave the white shape. And here you go, like that. And you do a bit faster, otherwise the color is going to get drier. Now here you go. I'm going to get a little dry brush. Just when you do the dry brush, just draw it faster, okay? And less uh, contact time. You can see that? I changed the direction of that. Uh, the shape like this. Here you go. Oh, that's good. And now I'm gonna make the a little bit darker on this side. Yeah, this is not too bad, huh? Now I finished that. I'm gonna mix the color really quickly. Here you go. And make sure that all those colors they are all drawn together. So this is the first step. That's good. In this step, we're going to separate the big shape into smaller shape. And we're dividing the water from the sky. I'm going to add a little blue color. The first time that I add the little blue color in here, right? Have a little blue color into the orange. It make it look like a little bit gray. Now I'm gonna do it one time. Coming from the left all the way to the right. See that? Perfect. Have a very light wash on top of this. If you don't want to have the dividing too obvious, try not to use 
to too much contrast. Now this Audi Drive, I'm going to put a little ship over here. You see that? Just very light color. Don't make it too dark. A little bit like that. This is probably already too dark. So I'm going to let go some paint. Like that. Make it a little bit. That's good. And you don't have to do it too hard. I'm going to have a little bit over here too. Like that. That's good enough. Okay, a little bit over here. And for this one, it gives a little bit more. Like that. And the people can sense it. Okay. I'm going to come over here. When I come to a little bit more away from the sun area, it needs a little bit blue color. So I'm going to come here to put a little bit. Oh, there's a little already too dark. So I'm going to just add a little water and make it a little bit lighter. That's good enough. Okay. Don't overdo it. If you put it too much, too much contrast in driving too much attention to that. And you don't want it. Because that is just the background object. And I'm going to put a little bit over here too. Like that. That's good enough. Okay. I'm going to have a little boat over here like that even looks like a little bit darker like that that's good enough just to continue using the calligraphy brush I'm, I'm going to put a few lines on the beach first i'm going to use the blue color from here all the way coming to this area put it down like this and like that coming over use the same color to add some other details to the wave okay now i'm going to have a couple more line like that a little line all the way coming over here and a little line and also showing a little wave like that okay a little like look at look like a dotted line in the middle over here I have a little bit more orange color so I'm gonna have a little bit like that and I have to go through that a little wave coming through Okay, and I'm going to have a little wave over here on the top, like that. Add a little bit blue color with a little red, a little bit blue again. Okay, here we go. Now his, his, I'm going to do, if you look at the color from here, a little bit more blue coming over here, a little, little bit more red. So analyze the color, analyze the value. I'm going to have a little bit over here, like that coming through over here and see you can see one side a little bit darker and the other side a little bit a little bit lighter and now I'm adding a little bit more red as I'm moving forward okay change the color even a little bit more red you see that the color has changed from one color to another color here you go you go like that it's a nice transition now I'm coming over here a little line now now I'm gonna also add a little bit darker color for the line coming over and just a little thin line somewhere thinner somewhere a little bit open up a little bit like that okay and take your time. I'm going to have a little suggestions of the wave. Don't think they are the wave, just looking for the shape, looking for the value. Like that. Little big shape, like that. I'm going to come in on this side, add a little big darker shape. Little big suggestions of the wave over here. That's good. It looked much better. Now I'm gonna add a, a couple sharper line on this side. And I'm gonna have the line over here. So you gotta have a brush that that you can change the form, the shape of the line without changing the brush. Thinking about the form, the shape. Don't think about the the object itself. That's good. Now, 
why I'm having this color. I'm gonna have a, a couple thin line like this on the beach. Like that dry brush, really dry brush. And I'm using the blue color, the, the gray color, just coming through this light shape like that. Okay, now we're painting into the main objects. I'm gonna use, you can use a little lighter color first and then get a little bit darker and darker color when you have a little bit more sure. So I'm gonna add a little blue color and with the red and a little yellow color. Now I'm gonna paint it in the face and I'm gonna just paint a little color here just like that, don't think about the details, just think about the whole shape of the face. And you don't have to make it a complete shape. We'll come back with the detail, okay? Then over here, I'm gonna just have a little bit gray color, so it don't need to be that dark, because I, I may be gonna add a little, the prints of that dress. It's just a little gray color, that's good. I put it like this, and look for the shape. Look at the big shape, and like coming down over here. Uh, the back, okay, here you go, right? It's very simple, and maybe have a little bit red come back over here. The whole shape of this, just darker color than the background, like that. And I'm gonna continue coming down over here. All the way, this is the leg. Now, it's very much vertical from the front of the body. That's what I mean. You don't have to draw out all the details and you can actually determine in the later step after you know the big shape. It's just good, right? Okay, on the leg over here, on this side, like this, here you go. Pointing to just a little simple silhouette. And I'm gonna continue uh, the arm over here, like that, and the two hand connected, and coming down over here now, I'm gonna go into the boy. Yeah, this calligraphy brush can give you a very precise shape. Now looking at the head, from the arm over here, vertical, and going up, and a little bit angular measurement, you can find the location of the head. And this is only a light version. And now I'm gonna come down over here to the legs. I'm gonna skip the shirt a little bit. I'll come back to do the shirt a little bit later. I'm gonna move this a little bit higher. This is the shape of the pants. And I'm gonna have a little bit darker gray color. Here you go, like this. You go like this. Like that. It's good. All right, now I'm gonna coming down over here to have the brown color. And again, coming over here. Looking for just looking for the outline, looking for the shape of this. Good, like that, that's interesting. And the angle of this shape. You see that is the painting process can be very enjoyable. If you don't get too much distraction and too much thing try to accomplish in one step. It's just do it one step at a time. Maybe on the shirt of the boy should be a little bit blue color. So I'm gonna just take a little blue color just a little blue color because they are actually in the shadow and a little blue color. And then I'm gonna put a little bit darker green color and we can create a stripe, the pattern. That's good, like that. Now I'm gonna mix a little bit darker color. Now I'm gonna add the blue color and the red color together in making a very dark color. So here you go, a little bit more blue. Now that's good. Now we know a little bit better how big the face is supposed to be. 
Oh, I said it ahead. It's supposed to be like this. Don't make it too big though, okay? You can always can make it bigger later. But if you already make it too big, and that uh, it will be difficult to make it smaller. Okay, like that. And a little big suggestion to shape like that. It's very cute, okay. And the back of the head, expand a little bit. That's good. And I also put a little bit smaller here in front of her. That's good. I make the brush really sharp. Now here you go. Here we go. Ooh, like that. Looking at the back over here, the backpack. I'm gonna put a little bit darker color to the shape of the backpack. Maybe not really this dark. Make it a little bit lighter. Here you go. Now you make the large shape to become smaller shape. After you pin this around the elbow and the shape, the suggestion of the elbow, it will be there. Like this, the backpack. A little bit suggestions, the front of the backpack. I'm saying backpack, but I don't want you to think this is the backpack. Just think about uh, where's the shape. Okay, now I'm gonna come down to add the darker color to the pants. Okay, have a little bit blue color like that. Doesn't need to be looks like a black. It's just a little bit dark color. All the way coming here, and also seeing a little bit about the other side, and. I'm going to let go uh, that little handbag because it's not really helping. You can always change your mind. Okay, like that's That's good. All right, this is the pin. Maybe a little bit to the sandal. A little bit to the sandal. Like that. We can come back to the face a little bit later. Now come to the boy. Take a look at the top of the boy. I'm gonna, a little bit warmer color, but I don't want it to be too dark. Just like that. Big shape to smaller shape. And if the face need to be darker, warmer, you can glaze another color on the top. That's good. Like that. A little bit shadow on the arm over here. Now I'm gonna make the pants a little bit darker. I'm gonna add a little darker color. Here you go, also a little bit warmer too. Now you can see at this point, you don't have to leave white for the two figures. They're actually darker than in the background, right? Like that. A little big shape for suggestion for the center. Now let's take a look at the face. It need to be much darker, right? So now I'm gonna remix, just get the yellow and the red and the blue color. You get the color you need. And this is good. I'm gonna take a look at inside of that by using this click of your brush. You actually can get every details you need. I want a, a simple life. I want the two to be simple too. Uh, just one brush and taking care of all different shapes. Now over here, I'm gonna take a look at the chin. I think just a little suggestions of the upper lip and the chin and moving around, that's good. And then coming to the neck, That's good. That's it. Pretty beautiful. Okay, like that. Now coming to review the color, coming to the hand. And her hand is holding something, but I'm not gonna draw the water bottle. So I'm just going to have the 
arm over here like that that's good now coming to the leg That that's good. Here you go. Like that. Now coming to the boy. It's the same color. Look at the face. That's good. the forehead that's good you can make this color also into the hair area because the hair area the hair area is darker than the I'm gonna paint into the both hand holding like this you can change the shape of that to give more suggestions if you need to that's good that's pretty good now walking into the pants again get a little dark color you can see this side actually a little bit darker like that and I'm gonna leave a little gap and here you go and now I'm gonna come to the leg and I'm gonna just add a little yellow color into this any color we can mix with the three primary colors together and now here you go now the legs coming here that's good just some silhouette some suggestions if you feeling kind of struggle don't worry, okay. You, I'm struggle with, still struggle with the drawing. That's fine. In fact, we have new classes to help beginners members to advance your skill much faster. In the class page, we have some new classes called Learn the Fundamental. So please go over there to register. It's going to start in early February. If the time is right for you, you should take a couple classes. I'm going to put a little bit darker at the bottom over here to so connect the shirt. Now I'm going to walk into the boy shirt. How about that? I'm going to just going to have some yellow color and with the blue, but even the blue is just not really that bright. So it mix the, with that. A little bit red color so this is a little bit better blue so now I'm gonna come in over here and the both shoulder like that it's good now see just see the shape of colors and here you go one stroke second stroke third stroke and that's it you see that how easy and it come to the mother and the shirt I'm gonna have a little blue color over here because seeing that there's a little bit more shadow over here like that and we're gonna come back to uh, suggest the print uh, a little bit later okay after this drive I'll come back to suggest that and also the shadow on the arm over here you can see the arm have some shadow because the light coming from the back over here. So I have a little shadow like this. By having dark and light color, you can get everything in. And also, please come back to this, uh, the Friday painting event uh, every week. Now this is good. I'm going to walk into the reflection and we'll make it looks much better. The reflection a little bit more gray color. So I'm going to take this color. That's good. Now coming down, I'm going to leave a little light shape, right? So make it look like the bottom of the sandal. Okay, here you go. And now vertically coming down like this. 
and over here too and the tip over here I have a little bit gap and so it looks like the water uh, on the beach right like this here you go like that and I'm gonna skip some and that is just the color we put on earlier like that here you go now get a little bit more and more blue you can see sense how the color change the temperature okay like that and coming over here and make a little bigger shape like this and now skip this part coming over here and vertically I need to go a little bit more to the right side okay there you go oh that's much better and see that how easy and now look at the boy over here there you go now have a little bit brown a little bit warmer when it's closer to the body more and more always just get a little bit more and more great just use this one brush having different kind of width stroke like that that's good give a little bit darker shape somewhere over here like I have a little rock over here and keep that a little line coming over and now I'm gonna come back to I'm gonna have a little bit warm color put a little bit flower like that 